Hi, I'm Dr. Jeff Donatello. Welcome to our video on stem cell therapy. If you're watching this, you're probably looking for answers. And while we don't have all the answers, we do have a lot of experience having treated 3,000 patients. So let's dig right into it and see if we can help guide you in a direction that may give you a relief from the condition that you're suffering with. So once again, welcome to an introduction into stem cell therapy. We've titled the seven years and 3,000 patients later, what have we learned? And we've learned a lot. So in the next 10, 15 minutes, I'm gonna cover the frustrations of quote unquote researching stem cells. What does that mean? There are FDA rules that apply. There's a lot of ins and outs to regenerating tissue. So we'll try to figure that out. Uh, what biologics or regenerative products really are best? Do we even know? And there are three factors that drive results. So everything we're talking about here really is this right for you. But wait till you get to the end to see the three factors because it's super important that you don't waste your time. We have really isolated out what's the most important thing to figure out before you go about injecting yourself with these products. So we're in Portsmouth and Bedford, New Hampshire. We are we have people that fly in all the time from into Boston. You really don't need to leave the country to get the treatment you need. We just had someone come from Norway um, and we'll get into why that is, okay? So let's untangle some of this misinformation for you. So I hear this all the time. Doc, I need to go research this, right? So what, do you, what does that really mean? That means you're gonna go home and you're gonna type stem cell therapy into Google and there's no larger exercise in frustration than doing this. Why is that? Well, it all comes back to this. The US is not a healthy country. And one of the reasons is that it consumes over 75% of the medications produced in the world. Um, the narrative is controlled by big pharma, the healthcare narrative. We're almost last in industrialized nations in health. Why? Well, in my opinion, we spend almost $20 billion a year in ads in 2024, big pharma does. And uh, it's leading to a really pro big problem when it comes to health. So they control the narrative. We hear this all the time. Is it legal? Well, these products are not legal or illegal. It's how your doctor uses them that matters, really. Your doctor's job is to, at first, do no harm. That's what that's the oath they take. So every day in this country, in fact, some people say almost 40% of drugs are used off-label. A lot of times that's what happens with these products. It's not illegal or illegal. It's up to the doctor to make their own decision on whether they should use that for their personal use or for the use of the patients in their office. But there are some key points, okay? It is illegal in the US to take stem cells from a donor, multiply them in a lab, and then inject them into another person. Current FDA regulations, they limit the number of cells available for treatment because they cannot be cultured and expanded, okay? So if you want culturally expanded stem cells, you need to leave the country. The question is, do you need them? now? Maybe years ago you did, right? But I don't think so, not anymore. Not at least, if you have an ache and pain or from osteoarthritis, or if you have a chronic soft tissue injury, you don't need them. I mean, half the NFL is using these products now, the National Football League. It's being used heavily in the United States. You don't need to leave the country unless you have something crazy going on, some weird disease. But for most musculoskeletal issues, you can stay right here in the US. What do we use? Well, we don't use stem cells. We use human allogeneic allografts. These are human cell and tissue products, HCTP. These come from full-term consenting females that are going to give birth or have given birth to C, but through C-sections. Um, cord banks show up and they no baby's mom is harmed and this product is taken out and it's third-party tested through FDA-regulated labs for disease and then it's put, brought back to the labs and each lab does their own work with it. Um, we know this, it is very effective at healing cartilage and structural defects associated with damage to cartilage and soft tissue. And it also enhances immune function. So they're not stem cells, allogeneic allografts. What we use in our office are, is Wharton's jelly. These are mesenchymal signaling cells, okay? It's a powerful combination of growth factors and hormones that come from the umbilical cord. Now in the past, we've used products that come from the amniotic fluid called exosomes. Now, 
what we do presently is we get our exosomes, again, healthy baby, healthy mom. It's from the umbilical cord that secretes these exosomes. It's the richest source of proteins and growth factor. So some people will tell you it's from the amniotic fluid. We now feel that it's from the actual cord itself. A little more expensive to do this versus taking the amniotic fluid out. And that amniotic fluid is, again, powerful too. But this is next generation, the exosomes. This is what we use for infusions. This is what we use for even joints. Um, there is controversy over which one to use. We find that this works really well for joints. So many of you have been told, just get PRP, platelet-rich plasma, right? That's great. If you're under 40, 45 years of age, they take your own blood, they spin it in a centrifuge, the growth factors in the platelets come out and they put it back into you. I'm telling you that if you are older, this will not give you very good results. And anyone that tells you to use PRP instead of these, typically the doctor doesn't understand biologics or it's something that they just haven't experimented enough with. Um, so these are autologous techniques. You may even hear still, it's becoming less and less, uh, techniques that come from you taking cells out of your own body and multiplied and put back in. They can do that again. These cells are coming closer to senescence. We deteriorate as we age, as you can see from these actors and actresses here, we get older. So why put old beat up cells back into you? This is why the allogeneic donor derived products are so popular, okay? And why do they work so well? Well, this tissue is immunoprivileged. There's a very low likelihood of triggering an immune response um, and having adverse reactions. This is why we like them. We've had, again, close to 3,000 patients and we've never had any issues because it all comes back to the, having a clean lab, knowing who's making the product, what scientists are doing it, and having a, uh, a good product that is, is safe and immune privileged. So you're not gonna see issues. These are very, 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 very safe. I think the biggest problem in the US is that we have side effects from drugs. So the general public thinks, you know, oh, well, what reactions can you get? If you do it properly, you don't get reactions from this. So our biologics are all produced in FDA inspected labs in the US. Now, if you fly outside of the country, you don't know where, the, what is being, if these labs are inspected, you don't know where the product's coming from. That's why I don't recommend it, okay? They're all third-party tested under FDA guidelines. And again, seven years, never having any adverse effects in our office. What joints get the best results by far? The knees, they're an encapsulated diarthroidal joint. If you have arthritis in your knee and somebody tells you that you need to have knee replacement surgery, we've had over 300 people cancel scheduled knee replacement surgeries, cancel them and have this done instead. So knees get great results. Hips get good results if you're not super overweight. Shoulders and knees are almost the same as far as how good results we get. Again, osteoarthritis, this is where the tissue screams, it's inflamed. And this is where when we inject these biologics, they go right after that inflamed tissue and it helps heal, okay? So chronicity is what we're looking for. Almost everybody that gets their knees done has been told that they're bone on bone. Um, that's not a problem unless you can't walk, right? An advanced situation might be a problem. That's why we examine everybody. But most everyone that comes in has been told there's some articulating surface due to uh, advanced arthritis and, and they do get results. And I do want to make make uh, make sure that I, I mention this age is but a number. We've had we had a 96 year old person do really really well um, with this product. 90 percent of our patients get 60 to 100 percent improvement within three months because we weed the patients out. We don't take on everybody. We're very picky, and that's going to be your biggest problem. We'll talk about it at the end. We want to make sure we take on the right patients before we take you in. Okay, so. The back and neck, very, very, very important. Make sure, this is why I have a big warning sign. Do not let anybody inject your back and neck unless they're using guided imagery, C-arm technology, real-time images. Make sure your doctor uses guided imagery. Make sure they're at least using ultrasound, okay? But if they're doing your back and neck, they better have a C-arm. Um, who's injecting you, right? This is very important. We have Dr. Joshua Greenspan. He's a medical doctor, pain management specialist, 30 years of experience. I tried to nail down how many people he's helped, probably 10,000, he said. Um, but the skill of the needle is everything. And believe it or not, the vast majority of places in this country, some of the most popular places, they don't spend the time to teach their nurse practitioners or medical doctors 
how to use guided imagery and they just inject and pray and you don't want to do that so the big question is it safe we covered that it's safer than just about anything else you can use how long does it take to see results um very interesting about 10 to 20 percent of people will see results right off the bat very quickly and we think that's because the fluid is probably taking up space where um, there's maybe a cushion effect that's not from regeneration but if they do see effect in effect quickly we know we're in the right spot the reality is this in about six to eight weeks most people are going to start to see a major change we've had many people oh it's, it's kind of crazy three four months in not see results and all of a sudden month five six see results uh, but the reality is this is that most people are going to get 60 to 100 percent better how many treatments one and done for many people um some people choose to come back and get a different body part treated that's pretty common they'll have a knee done and then they'll get their shoulder done um how long does it last all depends on what you do to your body i always compare it to if we seeded your lawn and we watered it for you and had good sunlight and we grew the grass great you get a great lawn well next year if you don't water it and you, <laughs> and you have a drought it's going to die on you the reality is you don't need to do this over and over again like cortisone shots but you have to take care of what has happened as this tissue has grown the less in the if you eat a, a lower inflammation if an anti-inflammatory diet that's better if you don't damage it by beating overdoing it that's better um many people come in and they get 70 80 percent better and they might come back for another treatment um like a year later to try to get close to 100 percent. but it lasts a long time does it hurt we have people that have post-traumatic stress that have come in with these big long cortisone needles where they've jabbed people and no, especially, you know, these are smaller needles. They're 25 gauge needles, um, the, especially if you work with a Dr. Greenspan. Um, I had this done on my leg. I broke my leg about six months ago and I was amazed to not even feel the needle go in. Pretty amazing. How active can I be afterwards? A week to two weeks after, we want you to not beat yourself up where you'll feel pain, but really it's, it's kind of biofeedback. Listen to your body. If you feel worse the next day, don't do that activity again okay just be smart so here we go it comes down to details all labs are not the same there are money grabbers out there there are labs that have been sanctioned over and over again by the fda make sure i'm not going to give names here all right but be careful all right some of these labs i actually talked to a, a, a person that was ordering um stem cells from a doctor in miami that was working in his garage so make sure that you know the lab they're coming from very important, make sure the doctor or the nurse practitioner has experience with this. The skill of the needle is everything. Going in blindly without imaging, wrong, flat out, don't do it, okay? Again, bound to the tech, we need to make sure we're doing this in a high tech environment. This is a C-arm you see here. Um, that is an extremely expensive piece of equipment and we use this, especially with almost all our patients. Um, we don't mess around, most people do not, okay? Now, I mentioned the most important thing, the results we get by far are based on the health of the patient. When you hear somebody not get results, typically they're gonna be overweight, all right? They're gonna be obese. They're gonna have type two diabetes that's, un, that's not controlled. Their hemoglobin A1C is gonna be seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 even. That means they're incredibly inflamed. And it's almost like, we again, we seed your lawn and there's just a flamethrower out there burning the seed up, right? So if you're super, a lot of, if you're super, um, have a lot of high, have really bad high blood, high blood pressure, um, it means you're inflamed. And this is why we have a metabolic reset program where we work with functional medicine, not with everybody, but we will turn people down and say, listen, we have to do some functional medicine testing on you. We need to get you less inflamed. The results will be way better so that's that's really where we're at right now the sicker you are the less the results cost of treatment one area is 5600 so let's say you did one knee a shoulder um, maybe a hip that's one area two areas 8600 if you did both knees um, three areas 11600 it's not on here but we do infusions we're very popular we usually do a two to four cc infusion that's anywhere from 8600 to 14600 and we do take health savings account flexible spending accounts. We even take care of credit for this. So if you want to connect with us, give us a call. We can set up a consult. We can have you come in and do an exam. 
And uh, we're here for you. 